Welcome to part three of Bird Gut. I once again have not much to say, so enjoy the video. Bon appetit. Actually, better than like every Mario game ever. Well, every every newer like Mario game, like New Super Mario Bros. We that shit. Like, that's even pretty good. I enjoyed playing that with my family a lot as a kid. But uh, this is insanely better. It says massive Donkey Kong Country returns energy, like. This is easy, easy GG minecart section. Like Mario has those platform levels too. Uh, like the, the fire roller coaster in Super Mario Bros. Wii. How, how is Bird Gut a game like, which in my mind, enjoyment and not, not quite difficulty, but damn close, is like kinda up there with Hollow Knight and Celeste? Huh? Like it's. It's it's good. It's uncomplicated is what it is. It's it's the uh, diet version. It doesn't have all the mind blowing like tight controls and and various uh, power ups. The other two games do, right? Right. Hollow Knight and Celeste have all these complicated dashes and bounces and shit. Uh, this is just one jump. Here <laughs> default Hornet. But uh, it still does good. God damn it. It's still good. I 10 out of 10 recommend this game to anyone who enjoys the genre of uh, Metroidvanias, but find it complicated, or not just complicated, but exhausting. Because like, God knows I love Hollow Knight and uh, how much I enjoyed Celeste, but I also found myself uh, really not having the energy to keep up with how punishing it is. This is, this is the same level of difficulty, so you're not going to feel like a baby. Well, that's not quite true. It's, it's still difficult, so you're not going to feel like a baby, but um, it's not so complicated that you have to have such, like an immense amount of gaming skill that that might not come naturally to you. You're not going to need to be able to memorize 16 move combos. Uh, you just got to jump over things. It's a nice middle ground between like really dull stuff like Super Mario Bros. Wii, really engaging things like Celeste, I would say. You must be this talented to ride still gets me. It reminds me of the uh It reminds me of the measurements clown from Tower Guy. <laughs> the height restrictions. Okay guys, this is the run. I'm calling it right now. And you will see uncut footage starting now. Then I will make it. How sexy and awesome am I? I am the greatest of all! Please don't let me die. <laughs> <laughs> I love how you got to see that uncut footage. This is uncharted territory now. Watch it. I have no worries. No fears. I am unlimited. Thanks for the direction there. Uh, sign. Oh, did I do it? <gasps> <laughs> First try, for sure. No, oh, I'm. I'm locked in here. Button. It's just funny! This is objectively humorous. Dude, 
How did that work so beautifully? Okay. Mm, that's an ominous humming. Ooh, trash compactor from Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Also known as Star Wars. No subtitles since it was the first and the sequels were not a guarantee. <laughs> what did I pa what, why, why, in my moment of panic, did I info dump information about the first Star Wars movie? <laughs> ah! Of course there's more of this. I think the best kind of video games are the kind that have no real, like, gender uh, association. And obviously any gender association the game is, like, up to, uh, I have the beholder bullshit. Its art style is, is, has that non-gritty atmosphere that one would as generally associate with girls. But also, like, a stupidity that one would associate with boys. And the simplistic control scheme that one would associate with, with girls or children, really. Because, uh, let's be honest, we derive them all the same. While also having, like, the complexity in, in level design, as, as one would associate with uh, a more big boy gamer game. And I think those were the best kinds of games, because... <sighs> Without some kind of branding that may specifically appeal to you, and that and that goes for demographics beyond gender. For for a great example, the ones with age. I mean, think of like shit like Gardenscapes. That so heavily panders to the middle-aged woman demographic that its integrity is lost. And in a similar way, I think some of the newer Call of Duties have that same atmosphere of, of losing their integrity by specifically trying to appeal to one type of, of person that could be in their audience. I mean, let's think of another game. Like, two, two, two games that are fantastic to uh, compare. Team Fortress 2 and CSGO. Borderline, the same game. Like, not at all, but released in similar eras with a similar team shooter vibe without being influenced by each other because they were released much around the same period of time. And, like, whereas CSGO, like, quite heavily panders to, I guess, instead of, instead of gendering it like fucking most people would, regard it as more of a, a serious audience versus a casual audience. Games that can appeal to both a casual audience and a more serious audience while retaining that integrity. Uh, they're, they're some of the, the best games out there. Because you don't have to rely on uh, the player's perception uh, to either entice them like, Oh, I can play games, it's not that hard. Or their ego. Like, I love the Dark Souls trilogy, but I, I, I would be fucking lying if I didn't admit that half the reason I played it was because I had been informed that it was so difficult. I'll put this on pause for a second. I can't say I believed you from the start, but this is... just this is working! Okay, okay, anyway, we're super close. This should be the entrance to the colon, where all the bird bombs are stowed, waiting to be dropped. Be very careful. This last place is gonna be armed to the teeth with beggars and guns and stuff. The bear doesn't generally approve of you tampering with hot explosives inside his colon. This is it, don't die. I coined to believe in you. Yeah, well, like I was saying, um, I, I half the reason I played that game was because I was, I was, I was in, lured in by the difficulty, and I'm not really even good at games to any severe extent. I'm not really, <laughs> I mean, case in point, I'm not really fantastic at games, which is a, a pretty huge reason why I, I play them. I play weird ones like this, or with friends, where it doesn't really matter. I'm, I'm no competitive eSport gamer. Number one, I don't really have that competitive drive. But number two, because I can't perform at that level at, at, in a satisfactory way. So, I play these much more casual games. And though I play games often, right, which gives me a lot of the knowledge and understanding 
that comes with uh, being a competitive gamer or, or with someone in the more serious crowd. My lack of skill also gives me the, uh, the audience perception of a casual game. Uh, and that's why I enjoy and I, I personally believe that games such as Team Fortress 2 or um, Hollow Knight that have an external appeal and an internal polish simultaneously uh, end up being the ones that last the longest because God knows how long TF2 is lasting. And I think that's why Nintendo has continued to impress everyone and stay strong, not only for their innovation, but for the fact that a casual gamer can get into that game, right? See the external appeal, enjoy it, and then carry on, you know, not worrying about any degree of excellence. Uh, where a, a more competitive gamer could also see the external appeal, uh, and, and maybe even dismiss it outright. But then begin playing the game and, and fall in love with it, which is where all these Super Mario speedrunners and fucking those crazy, those crazy assholes who make like impossible uh, Mario Maker levels and shit like that. But that that Venn diagram where a casual competitive audience crosses over is, I think, where uh, enduring excellence. Down there, I, I guess. special games to get to, to form, I guess. Anyway, enough of that rant, Jesus, it's gonna be like half the video at that point. Yeah, that was part of three of Bird Gut. I hope you enjoyed my schizophrenic dissection of the entire game industry. Um, <laughs> part four should be out tomorrow, uh, and I'm hoping to make it the final part. No guarantees, but probably. Have you had carrots recently? Cause like they're they're really good. Check them out.